Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Hubert Vallet of Canadian Metals. How are you today, Hubert? Very good, Tracy. Thank you very much. Well, first of all, I'd like to start by, of course, you just became CEO in December. Is that correct? That's correct, yes. And you have a very impressive background, but I know you're not, I'm not going to be able to get you to speak about your background. So tell us about this new board member you just announced. Yes, we recently announced uh, Guy Simard, which is the ID Manic representative. He would be sitting on our board and acting actively to promote the project. And of course, this is a project that if you do not know about it, we're going to introduce you to Canadian metals properly. This is a quartz project and it's a, your goal is to be a fully integrated quartz project. Is that correct? Yes, we fully, uh, we fully own the deposit of quartz and we intend to, to build a smelter in Bécamo, just across the St. Lawrence River. And if you don't know anything about quartz, tell us a little bit about the quartz market. Just give us a kind of an overview. With the quartz and using the smelters, we're going to produce the silicon alloy product, which is an added value product, mostly used in the solar panel, the electronic chips, uh, mag wheel, uh, silicon, every kind of silicon. So this is a, a, a coming, emerging and expanding market. Uh, we expect this market is going to expand for the next 10 years for 5% per year. And of course, you're not just another quartz development project. You have infrastructure and, and many uh, elements of your project well underway. Can you be really specific and tell us what makes Canadian metals so intriguing to potential new shareholders? So in Bécomo, we will access a very good infrastructure, port, railway. Uh, we, can, we can expedite our final product to uh, all around the planet in North America and by overseas. So, and also access a good electricity, very good electricity, reliable and relatively cheap electricity. Well, I've seen some, some pictures of your infrastructure and it looks very impressive to me. But you keep bringing up uh, Bokomo. Can you tell us a little bit more about what this is? The smelter in Bekomo will consist in three arc furnace of 35 megawatts producing 50,000 tons of silicon alloys per year. So that's the, the basic infrastructure in Bekomo. So for any of our shareholders out there, or for someone who's interested in becoming a shareholder, I know your company's moving very quickly with your benchmarks. That's part of the reason why you're so quiet. Can you tell us what we should anticipate over the next couple of quarters? Yeah, what we should anticipate is we want to produce a pre-feasibility study by the year end at the latest early next year. With that, we could move forward with the, 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 the big financing steps and uh, we expect to start the construction somewhere in 2019-2020. You're starting construction in 2019-2020? Yeah. And so production, of course, will happen at that time. Yeah, production somewhere in 2021. Uh, we, we, we'll start the first furnace, the second furnace and the third furnace. And do you have any offtake agreements in place yet? Not yet, but many discussion is, is, now, uh, is now having uh, place. Well, certainly with the new addition, of course, as you as CEO and the new board member to add your already very prominent board team, uh, we expect some very exciting things from Canadian Metals. So thank you, Hubert, for joining us today. Thank you very much, Tracy.